Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. In this video, I want to demonstrate just how absurdly powerful Constellation Zero Ganyu is with a completely free to play achievable build. Hopefully, this showcase can reassure many of you that are skeptical on how good Ganyu is with the prototype Crescent. For this entire video, my Ganyu is at C0 and is using the craftable prototype Crescent at Refinement 1. In order to get the prototype Crescent, you need a Northlander Bow prototype dropped from the weekly bosses, and then you can craft it at your local unfriendly blacksmith. I'll be showcasing two solo Ganyu 9 star abyss runs that I did, one in abyss 12 and one in abyss 11. Full disclosure, I did retry a few times for some of these abyss floors, but really it was a smooth and easy experience. In fact, I would say it's completely realistic to do both these abyss floors with Gan Yu without taking any damage at all. Now, 11-2 took me about 5 retries, which is the most out of all of these floors, due to having to adjust my strategy because I only have one character that cannot heal on my team. Now, one of the main points of this video is to demonstrate that with how absurdly powerful Ganyu's kit is, the prototype Crescent is more than enough to solo clear the hardest content in the game. Also, for those people that don't like Abyss 12 and 11 showcases due to various floor buffs, I'll include a few snippets of overworld stuff at the end. I just figured that since overworld stuff evaporates instantly, it's not as valuable. But hey, you guys asked for it, so I'll deliver. So now that I've had a couple days to use Ganyu, I also wanted to talk about how she feels compared to other characters. First and foremost, deploying a tactical cryo nuke onto enemies every 2 seconds has never felt more rewarding. At Constellation Zero, with the free to play bow, the prototype Crescent, she feels just as powerful in most situations as my Constellation 6 Klee clunking around with a refinement 2 lost prayer to the sacred winds. Frankly, I don't think a Klee or Deluke with any of their free-to-play weapon options can come close to Gan Yu with just the prototype Crescent. Let's not even talk about if you have refinements on your prototype Crescent, because at Refined 5, you'll only be doing a little bit less damage on your charge shots than even if you had the Amos bow. Speaking of which, many of you may be wondering how does the prototype Crescent compare to the Amos bow, or even to the Skyward Harp. My advice is, unless you're a whale, don't worry about it. Ganyu does not need either of those two weapons to do her job, as demonstrated in this video. If you simply invest a few thousand resin into farming a decent Blizzard Strayer set, or if you already have a decent Wanderer set, you'll be able to reach numbers similar to mine with the Prototype Crescent. If you're unsure as to how she performs without less accessible weapons, like the Amos Bow or Skyward Harp, Hopefully this video demonstrates that you can solo clear Abyss 11 and 12 with Gan Yu with the prototype Crescent with ease. Also, I'd like to note that the Black Cliff Warbow performs just as well as the prototype Crescent. So if you have a few star glitter available and don't have access to the prototype Crescent anymore, you can consider the Black Cliff Warbow. Here's a quick preview of the data I'm gathering for my next video, which will compare different level 90 weapons on Gan Yu. As you can see, the Prototype Crescent and Black Cliff Warbo output very similar numbers, both without their buffs and with their buffs. Now eventually, more and more characters will be able to compare in terms of damage output, even at Constellation Zero with free-to-play builds. If you're still on the fence about Gan Yu because of Xiao's impending arrival and you really need to save those Primo Gems, then I recommend waiting a bit longer until more leaks of Xiao happen so we can analyze his potential. Given how the community reacted to Zhongli, and also given how broken Gan Yu is now, I doubt Mihoyo wants to let the Zhongli fiasco happen again, especially with the ever so popular Xiao. It's also worth noting that if you don't like Gan Yu or can't stand charge shots, you probably shouldn't force yourself to get her because you might be stuck with buyer's remorse. Gan Yu, when she doesn't utilize her charge shot, is good, but really doesn't feel that overpowered. Now, in terms of char shots, initially, I didn't like char shots either, but now it just feels so incredibly satisfying to continuously shoot tactical cryo missiles. And another reason to consider Gan Yu is that not only is she capable of all this with a free-to-play achievable build, but I also think it's going to be a long time before any other character 
can outshine Ganyu for ranged cryo damage. Signora, I'm looking at you. So Ganyu should be a safe investment for many months to come, just for that alone. So yeah, this video may not have me talking throughout the entire thing. I mainly wanted to reassure you guys and to also demonstrate that even a C0 Ganyu with the prototype crescent is completely broken. Let me know what you guys think. Similar to how we all thought Albedo was a good free-to-play support, which he is, well, Gan Yu is an absurdly good free-to-play main DPS character. My next video will be a weapon showcase and comparison for Gan Yu, so be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And now I'll just let the rest of whatever Abyss run in the background play out for those that want to see it. But as always, thanks for watching. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.